Hi guys, Jay Smith here. Welcome to the Ask Golf Night channel and welcome to the introduction to the new series of which I'm calling From Stats to Strokes. What that means is, before anyone falls asleep, anyone who's been watching me for a while knows that I don't really like subjectivity. I like objectivity. I like uh, to be able to give you a conclusion of how a golf club performs based on not what I feel or how I see it fly in the air. I like to deal by numbers. How good is that golf club from the middle? But also, with my forgiveness testing, how good is that golf club when you don't quite hit the middle? Because remember, most amateur golfers do not hit the middle, so they really need to know how a golf club performs when you don't quite strike it there. But that's the equipment side of things. There's a huge win that you can have if you understand your own game. And that's why Arcos and that's why ShotScope, all these kind of different companies, have created their own databases to understand how golfers play golf and how, more importantly, they lose their strokes. When it comes to coaching and also practice, you're trying to become better. If you imagine though, you can already think, the guys down the lens think, think to yourself, you can already recall quite easily like that, all the shots that you've hit that far away from the pin, etc. But if you play golf like that all the time, you're already capable of doing it because you've done it before and you continue to do it every so often. Unfortunately, they're interspersed by a lot of mediocre and unfortunately too many bad, bad decisions or shots in general. And so this is where analytics and statistics can very, very much so improve your decision making. They call it racecraft when you're in uh, Formula One. Uh, the golf and mind, the golfer's mind is huge in understanding variables to make sure you don't make bad decisions. Make sure you take enough golf club, make sure you know where to aim relevant to the wind or relevant to how your shot shape is, etc. What your other handicap peers do relative to you and so you can understand where you've got a weakness or a strength. And so what I've decided to do is 18 episodes, 18 holes. Every single episode is going to be a question and an answer. I will pose a question to everybody and they'll have a chance, maybe a day or two before I put the answer video out, to get in the comments and comment below their answer to the question. Sometimes it's just gonna be an open-ended question. Other times I might do option A, B, C, or D. We don't know, it'll be a bit of fun. Whole idea of it though, at the end, I will then tally all the right answers up to see who wins. And so this is the fun. This is a chance for you guys to win a set of irons. Now I have for this round, 18 holes, I have collaborated with Sub 70 and 11 Golf. And the winner, the one out of 18 episodes which gets the closest to the correct scores on every single one, uh, the one who wins overall will basically not have a chance to win. They will win a custom set of Sub 70 or 11 Golf golf clubs. So that's a great thing for whoever is going to win this. The only thing that you really have to do you obviously have to uh, answer the question. When on the question involved, you have to uh, leave a comment with the answer. You have to like the video. You have to be a subscriber. And then you also have to um, join the socials of Sub70 Golf and 11 Golf on Facebook and Instagram, I think are probably the two best ones to do. But as long as you do that, you qualify. So every single time you um, answer, you just put your answer down there, like, subscribe, all that lot. And at the end, we'll get all the information together and then we will see who got closest. Now, of course, there will be this one thing. There's going to be maybe a day, maybe two between the question and answer to give everyone chance as best as possible to be in with a chance to get their answer in to win this set of golf clubs. So there will be a certain amount of people that just wanna do it for fun and just put a number down to see how close they got. But there will also be the people which will just trawl through Google and trying to find the information for themselves so they can get the right answer. I don't mind whichever one, really, because if the, the guys that are gonna go on the internet and basically find out the answer for themselves so they can be bob on, um, at least you're gonna be spending time looking at every single thing. You're gonna be reading different things, learning different things at the same time. So I don't necessarily mind. If we get a tie at the end, yes, we're gonna to have to do some form of uh, tiebreaker, which we will get to, should we get to the end of um, hole 18, 
episode 18 and we find there might be a tiebreaker or not. But that's the whole idea. So a bit of fun so you can learn about other people's games, your games, apply the learning to you to we can try and get your scores lower. And then also, from a bit of fun, also being a chance to win a full uh, set of irons from sub 70 or 11 golf. I hope you liked the video. If you did, go on, like button is important. You should like so do I down there. It's a subscribe button. Remember, if you're not subscribed, you can't enter doing this, so get subscribed. And down there next to it is a bell icon. That's a notification bell. If you click that one, that will notify you next time I upload another video and upload all these other videos for you to watch and input and comment below as well. So comment below as well. YouTube likes it. We'll see you again soon.